Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Out today to test out this uh, solar generator by All Powers. Uh, this was something I was looking for but didn't know about this particular product until the company emailed me and offered to send me this to take a look at. Um, absolutely everything I was looking for and more. Um, so let's get it out and have a quick look at it. Got an AC power cord here. And it is quite nicely packaged. And here we go, here's the device itself. As you can see, it's not particularly big or particularly heavy. You can lift it with one finger. Uh, you're not going to take it lightweight backpacking, no, but um, I'll explain a bit more how you can use it shortly. Have a quick look at it though. On the side here, if I turn it on, you can see you've got your battery power indicator. And you've got a uh, on and off switch for both the AC and the DC power. So this is an inverter as well. So you can figure this as a power bank, an inverter, um, and a solar generator as they call it. At the top here, you can see our universal AC outlets. Uh, they do 110 and 220, and you can see the different hole sizes on there, European, UK, um, and for your bathroom sockets as well. Got other AC outlets here, three DC 12 volts, four USBs, standard, and a USB Type-C. These are your on and off switches like I mentioned. And if we spin it round, you can just about make out there's fans in there for when it's charging off the mains. You've got, under this flap, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter car socket. You've got your solar input for your solar panel. So that's for charging for free basically, if you don't want to fast charge it off the mains. Which is done via this port here. And you've got a fuse there. That's pretty much it from the outside. It's a very simple box, very, very solid and well made. You've got this really nice handle on the top here, kind of like on a, a guitar amplifier or something, I guess. As I said, it is a power bank itself, which is um, 78,000 milliamp hours, which 288 watt hours. Um, that's pretty close to leisure batteries. So you can see there is a lot of different types of uses for this. Uh, for me, um, looking to take it on multi-day trips when I take the truck out. Uh, so if I'm doing different camps in an area, I've got like a, a base to charge drones, phones, all that sort of thing. We'll go into that shortly. Um, but yeah, wonderful little device. So uh, let's have a little look at how it's used. As I'll be using this generator in my truck a lot for touring and camping, I wanted to try out the 12 volt socket. Remembered I keep a little kettle element drink heater in my glove box which worked a treat. You could also use a tyre inflator or vacuum cleaner too and moving around the car with less cable snag would be nice. Next up, whilst playing around with the generator at home, I had the idea of an outdoor living room, which really shows the power of this thing running. A lamp, games console and 32 inch TV with ease. Not a very realistic setting, but shows how it may work in a camper, caravan or off-grid cabin maybe. Now for the reasons I wanted to use one of these. As an outdoor YouTube creator, I need to use a lot of electronic devices to capture me getting back to nature. Some of these things are USB, such as my phone and filming light. But other things like the drone and camera batteries are AC mains charged. 
and the solar generator can do both simultaneously. And if it's an extended trip, all powers do a variety of solar panels, such as this flexible 50 watt panel that can charge the pack as you go. As a self-employed man I can see many other options for the power pack such as sites where a fuel generator cannot be used, vans on jobs and even a home hobbyist's shed maybe. In the summer it could even be used in the garden rather than running long extension cables around. If you're car camping, vamping, glamping or staying in a shepherd's hut or B&B the universal AC sockets also accept bathroom shaver plugs for shavers and electronic toothbrushes. At 4.5 kilograms and measuring 28.5 centimeters by 15 by 14, it's pretty ideal for everything except lightweight backpack camping. The only things I found I couldn't use were high wattage appliances with heating elements such as a hot plate or AC kettle. But all in, I'd say the solar generator is well worth the asking price, especially as some inverters alone cost just as much. So the weather is just getting worse and worse out here today. I don't know why I came out today to do this. At least I got my hat. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, the all powers, solar generator. I love it. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Whether you're vamping, uh, touring, um, camping, uh, caravanning or just want some emergency power at home or just want to use free power at home if you're charging via the solar panels it's brilliant I mean I've used it at home to power a, a digital box a 50 inch TV while charging two phones this is all just off of the internal battery there it's, it's fantastic amazing what it can do really um, yeah been looking for something like this for a while and, and at this price as well for an inverter and power bank and solar charger fantastic fantastic um, I will put all the links and everything below uh, I believe there should be some Black Friday offers and stuff so all that be below so check that out in the description field there um, for now though I think I need to go get in the dry thanks very much for watching thank you all pals for sending this a fantastic bit of kit uh, look forward to seeing what else you're gonna do in the future and uh, I'll see you all on the next one thanks for watching and goodbye